Hello everybody. I'm Armugam Ramaswamy and I'm here to talk about my FYP, reinforcement learning for swarm systems. Let's start with an overview of my project. My main objectives during my FYP were to analyze current methods used in swarm reinforcement learning, provide reliable baselines against which you can benchmark your algorithm, and to propose a new algorithm for swarm RL. This will be the outline of today's presentation. We will first cover required background, discuss the models used in this project, discuss the experimental setup, and finally go over the results and analysis. Okay, so let's talk about multi-agent reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a subfield of AI where agents learn to accomplish a task by receiving feedback in the form of a reward. The agent learns by adopting a strategy that maximizes this reward. Training one agent to achieve a goal using RL can be a difficult task. Training multiple agents to cooperate towards a common goal can be even harder. This is known as multi-agent reinforcement learning. A swarm system is a multi-agent system where each agent is indistinguishable, simple, and interchangeable, like ants or bees. Now let us talk about the key differences between swarm systems and multi-agent systems. The first key difference is the lack of agent identities. As agents are interchangeable and replaceable, they must not be given specific identities. In practice, this can be observed as not adding an agent identifier to an agent's observation. A key feature of swarms is the variability of the size of the swarm. Hence, a swarm RL policy must be able to handle variable number of inputs. This leads to variable observation sizes. Here we can see two different number of agents. And in both of these scenarios, the same policy is being used to control these uh, the agents. The ordering of observations is also something that requires consideration. The active agent here is marked by the green identifier. The order in which neighbors are perceived must either not matter or must be fixed. In this project, we will consider techniques where the order of observations does not matter. That is, the policy is permutationally invariant to the observations. Now, let us take a look at some of the models used in this project. We chose mean embeddings to be the baseline because it is a simple model that provides good performance. The key feature of mean embeddings architecture is the embedding layer followed by the mean operation. This architecture can handle both variable number of neighbors and is also permutationally invariant as the mean operation is permutationally invariant. Next, we propose the selection based model. We believe that capturing the key most important pieces of information from the observation would be a good way of representing the most important part of the observation as a whole. This approach has also been demonstrated in single agent RL by the paper Neuroevolution of Self-Interpretable Agents. Using the top K operation has one major downside. The operation is not differentiable. This means we cannot use gradient descent to optimize the agent. We instead turn to a non-gradient based method evolutionary search. Now let us take a look at the experimental setup used in this project. The environment used in this project was simple spread. The goal of this environment is for each agent to occupy a different target position. Here you can see the ideal final configuration for the agents. The agents must spread out and occupy the target positions, hence the name simple spread. The rewards for this environment are split into two parts, the global reward and the local reward. 
The global reward can be visualized in the figure on the right. The agents receive a penalty for collision and this is structured as a local reward. Three different training paradigms were used throughout the course of this project. Firstly, we use PPO. PPO is a normal RL algorithm. Second, we used Coma. Coma is a multi-agent RL algorithm that helps overcome the credit assignment problem. And finally, we use CMAES. CMAES is an evolutionary algorithm which is required to train the selection model as it contains the non-differentiable operation. Now for the results. Here you can see uh, in light blue, you can see a self-attention model and in dark blue, you can see a simple model. The best performing model trained using PPO was the self-attention model. It found a suboptimal solution at three agents and was not able to genera generalize well to higher agent counts. A simple model incapable of generalizing to higher agent counts was established as the baseline. When training with Coma, the task with two agents which was achievable and resulted in solving the task. The most important parameter for solving the environment seemed to be the shuffle setting. Training with three agents in coma failed and the agents were not able to achieve the task. The best performing model was the mean embeddings model trained using CMAES. It was the only model able to solve the task it was trained on and to be able to generalize to a larger number of agents. Mean embedding strained using gradient descent was not able to solve the task, possibly due to gradient descent based solutions being vulnerable to getting stuck in local minima. Although the proposed selection model did not perform as well as the mean embeddings model, the selection model has further benefits like being able to focus on selective parts of the environment while ignoring others. This might be useful in more complex swarm RL tasks. That brings us to the end of my presentation. Thank you.